One of the trickiest place values is a thousands place because it's not as easy to figure out percents as it is with the tenths and hundredths. So remember, here we have one whole. So to get to my tenths place, my first place value, all I had to do is take that whole and cut it into 10 equal pieces. My next place value is my hundredths place. So what it is, is I took that tenths and cut it going across to make it into a hundred equal pieces. Then we move to our thousandths grid and they took that hundredths grid and in every single little box, they cut it into 10 equal pieces. So when you look at your place value, every time you move over, you're cutting it in 10. So when you think about a thousandth, you're thinking about a really, 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 really small piece. When you're thinking about a tenth, well, that's a bigger piece. So if we looked at this hundredths grid, we could tell that there's 30 colored in out of 100. And we know that percents are always out of 100. How do we know that? Because when we look at the word percent, we see that word cent in there. And cent, you think of century as 100 years, a centipede has 100 legs, there's 100 cents in a dollar. So that's your clue that it always has to be for every 100. So percents always have to be out of 100. So for this grid, it's pretty easy to see the percent because it's already cut into hundredths. So this grid is showing us 30% because 30 are colored in out of 100. We can also see percents pretty easily on a tenths grid. Here I have four out of 10 colored in. But really, if I have four rows of 10, I know that that's the same thing as saying 40. So it's like 40 out of 100. So my percent would be 40%. So what happens in a thousandths grid? It's really the same size grid, so I have to think about how many are colored in first. Here, if I know there's 10 in every square, I can see there's three rows, so there's 300 out of 1,000. But I can't say there's 300 percents because percents are only out of 100. So my next step is asking myself, well, how many hundredths do I have here? If you look, you can almost ignore those lines inside. And every single one of those boxes, even though it's cut into 10 groups, it's still a hundredth. It looks exactly the same as my hundredth grid did. So even though it can be hard to see, what I want to look for is how many hundredths do I have? So it's like counting these squares. One hundredth, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I have three rows of that. So really, I can guess that I have 30 percent. Another way to think about that is if you remember back from when we did fractions, you could simplify the fraction. If I divide each by 10, look what happens. I get 30 over 100, and that's my 30%. So let's look at this grid together. I first have to figure out how many do I have colored in out of 1,000. So if each row has 100, that's 100, 200, 210, 20, 30, 40, and then 5. So 245 thousandths. And I would write it like this. As a decimal, I would do 0.24. But remember, percents can only be out of 100. So I have to see how many hundredths do I have. So if you look, I outlined one of my hundredths for you. So I have to say, well, how many hundredths do I have and look for those bigger boxes? So here I see one, 10 in this row, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So I know I have 24 hundredths. But then if I look at this box here, I notice, well, that's not a full hundredth, but that looks like a half of a hundredth to me. So now what I can do is write this as 24.5 or 24 and a half percent. I have to make that into a fraction or a decimal because percents can only be out of a hundred. So let's try this last one and you try and solve it as I solve it. So start by, and you can pause the video if you need, start by trying to figure out how many thousands do you have. So hopefully you got 400 
and 85 thousandths. The way I solved that is I saw that I had four rows of 10. That's my four tenths. And then I saw that I had eight hundredths. There's my eight hundredths. And then five thousandths. There's my five thousandths. So if I wrote this as a decimal, I would have 0.485. So what percent would that be? Remember, I have to look at how many hundredths I have. You could go back and count the boxes, but you can also use the decimal you just wrote. If the four is in my tenths place and the eight is in my, in my hundredths place, I know I have 48 hundredths. So I know I have at least 48%. But remember, I still have that five thousandths. And if you look at our grid, that looks like half of a box. So I'm going to say 48.5 or 48 and one half percent. Either answer would be fine.